Okay, hey there, welcome back to the fifth installment of our tutorial on how to make a website. And we have done all the difficult things. We have built it and we have our homepage, our video section and our about section. We have added any kind of style and a logo here and we have what we need. Now, what we need to do is we need to take it from the computer and put it actually onto the internet. Because right now this website is only on my computer and that is the only place that it can be visited and that is no good at all. We want everybody in the whole wide world to be able to visit the wonderful soccer world. So basically what we are going to do is we are just going to take the files from my desktop and we are going to upload them to a server that can be accessed from anywhere. And there's two services that we are going to need in order to do it. The first one is called FileZilla. And what FileZilla does, you can download it right here. And you can go through all the instructions. It is very straightforward. And FileZilla is an FTP client, a file transfer protocol client that takes the files from your computer and it puts them onto a server. So we once you have that installed, I will get it right here. It will look like this and you can open it up and you can see the files that are on your computer. And right now it's not connected to a server, uh, but we can put them from the computer on to there. And once you have this, let's get a server. So the one that I am going to use, uh, there are several choices. But this is a good free option is just 000 web host. And these guys will host your website for free. The only thing is that you do occasionally need to visit the website or else they will just take it down. Uh, but this is a good free option. There are many other choices that you could use as well. But for the purposes of this video, this is the one that I am going to use. So if you go here, and all you need to do is go to, there's a premium and there's a free one. I'm just going to go to sign up. And I do not want to host my own domain because that would cost money. So I am going to use this free subdomain. And I, I already used Soccer World in another one when I was testing this out. So I am going to go with Spanish here. And I'm going to go to Mundo del Futbol. World of Soccer, or Soccer World. And that will be my website and my name. You just put your name there. And my email, I'll do Mr. Teacher Kevin in Gmail. I've used this before, so hopefully I can do another one. You just put your password in. And you have to agree to those terms of service. And of course, you should read all of that, but I'm not going to. And then I'm going to create my account and I've already registered with this email. Darn. All right. So I am going to put a, another email in there. That's where there's not match. Cool. And there I am. I have the domain and it is going to send a confirmation email. And once you have that, just go to the email address that you selected. And this is it right here. And you have this to confirm your registration. You need to click this link. So you click the link. And it will say building, blah, blah, blah. And just go back to your email. I've only done this, I hit, oh, there we go. Okay. And once you have that, you need to get your information for FileZilla to work. So I'm gonna to go to the members area here. And you just put in the email that you had before. And you 
put your captcha in there. Cool. Okay, and once you are in here, you need to go to what is called the C panel. And this will have all the information you need for FileZilla. And that will be, I should know this a little clearer. Uh, view the FP, FTP details. And so my FTP host name is Mundo del Futbol, and that is the username, and then whatever password that you chose. So I'm just gonna go here to FileZilla, and I am going to put all of that information right there. So my host name was Mundo del Futbol. Go back there. And my FTP username was that nice little combo there. And finally, my password, I should know. And port does not really matter, so I am just going to go like that. Boom, boom, boom. Directory listing successful, boom, I am connected. And this is everything that is in my directory right now. And all I wanna do is I wanna to navigate to where I was before. So if I click up, uh, right now I'm in XAMPP, I don't wanna go there. If you see this little dot thing right there, if you keep on doing that, you'll eventually find what you were, um, you'll keep on going up in your, in your directory tree and you will get to where you wanna go. So uh, I wanna keep on going up here. I wanna keep on going up. And now I'm gonna go in, and again, this might be different for you, but on a Mac from the top domain, uh, I'm just gonna go to users, Kevin Briggs, and I find my desktop. And it is in Sucker World. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything. And I'm going to drag it into there. Boom, 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 boom. Everything will be successful if it will say that up here. And now you can see that I have all of these files that were previously only on my computer. Now they're there. And if I wanted to make a change to one of these, I can just make the change, save it, drag it into there, and it will make that change for me. And so now that I have that, all I need to do is go to this website. Delete. Uh, so it says we need to delete the file default PHP from public HTML folder. All right, that's a lot. Let's see that. Boom, default here, all right? So it says delete that, and I'm just going to do that. Boom, and that deletes it off the server. And I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna put these into my public HTML. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're gonna try this, boom. And there you can see this can be accessed from anywhere in the world. Just check to make sure that everything is working. And that is how you create a website using HTML and CSS. You've made it all the way through the tutorial. So Good job on making this far. I hope it was useful and I'll see you around later. Bye.